What's up guys, Eric Barris Engineering. We got a busy day in front of the DMU 50 today. We're making some GR86 motor mounts. Uh, they also fit the BBWRX, so FA24 motor mounts. We actually produce four of the products, or four of the pieces of the assembly in-house. They're all the machine components, and then we have metal parts that are outsourced. So right now we're producing what we call the bushing holder. So there is a left and a right hand side. We actually run both left and right at the same time with our dual vice setup. We're gonna start out with a, a raw block of aluminum here. All right, so right here you see the end of cycle, uh, an end of cycle. So we have op one on the left side, op two on the right side. And ultimately what this starts out as is a raw block. We'll flip these over and then run op two. So what most people don't understand is that while we've already designed two products, we actually have to design another three products and then cut them to actually produce this finished product. So there we go, we got a left and a right hand side on these uh, bushing holders. And then what I was talking about as far as the fixture design, so we actually have a front vise jaw, soft jaw, a rear vise jaw, and then a center jaw. And basically this captures this op one extremely specifically uh, and repeatably so that we can produce them with high tolerance or low tolerance. Sometimes engineering the fixture is substantially harder than actually producing the product. And sometimes we actually have to change the product design itself so that we can actually hold it in op two and, and create the fixture to basically make the part so that you can hold it in a fixture and all that stuff. So yeah, it's, it's, it's sometimes a, a gigantic pain, but um, it's kind of all part of the fun of creating a product and, and making it here. All right, so we are on phase two of this little behind the scenes blog, vlog, I don't know what you wanted to call it, but basically we're gonna be making the mounts now. So ultimately we had to put some tools into the machine to cut these nice little boys. Now we're gonna take them out and we're gonna put in some tools that we need to use to cut the bases. So. All right, so this is what we call the motor mount base. Basically, this bolts to the engine, like so. Then we have a U piece, and then the other part that goes to the chassis, and that's where you get your basically full assembled motor mount. We make these in two operations, again, on our DMU 50 behind me, and these are made out of 6061. These are, I guess you could call them, two pieces of a roughly six-part assembly, not including the polyurethane bushing. And again, we make these with left and right at the same time on our dual vices. The op one starts out as a solid block of aluminum. We rough it out, we machine it, we finish it, and then we flip them over. So again, we have a left and a right, and we're basically gonna change this again. And not suck. There we go. All right guys, we have the units back from coating, so that means anodized for the machined aluminum parts and powder coated for the steel bent aluminum part, or bent part. So what you're gonna see from this is basically improved engine transmission to the chassis. So basically less engine rocking and you're gonna basically get a better feel for um, power and off power on and off track. You're gonna also get a better shift feel because the engine and the transmission aren't rocking back and forth. So basically this really solidifies that powertrain to the chassis. Thank you for following along on our kind of build behind the scenes. Be sure to check out our YouTube install manual for installing this on your FRS BRZ, 
sorry, GR86 or BRZ, or the FA24 WRX, which is for the BB chassis. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.